how to lower cholesterol and blood sugar at the same time. It's not coincidence that when most people that get diagnosed with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes also get diagnosed with high cholesterol, high LDL, low HDL, high triglycerides, each problem didn't develop on its own. They're both connected through insulin resistance. Insulin resistance doesn't just happen in an isolated part of your body. It happens in your liver, in your muscles, in your pancreas, even in your brain. Insulin is just a messenger to several organs in your body. But sometimes insulin cannot deliver the message, and that is known as insulin resistance. When the liver doesn't get the message, it stays in a state known as lipogenesis, which basically makes your liver turn extra glucose into fat more aggressively. And that is how both type 2 diabetes and high cholesterol are interconnected. Mind you, glucose is not the problem. The problem is insulin resistance, the fact that insulin cannot deliver the message to the liver. So we need to become more insulin sensitive. Sure, lifestyle changes help tremendously with this. I would advise everybody to go through a lifestyle change. But studies have also shown that berberine makes you more insulin sensitive. And this is the reason why studies done on berberine have shown significant decreases in blood sugar levels, but also cholesterol levels. A specific study looking into the effects of berberine in blood sugar also brought metformin, which is a pharmaceutical drug, into the mix. And they found that metformin, of course, did lower blood sugar, but it did not lower cholesterol levels the way that berberine did. So all in all, berberine is a pretty powerful compound to improve your insulin sensitivity. And there you have it, my friends. I am an exercise physiologist, and if you want more free diabetes education, make sure to hit that subscribe button right here to subscribe to our channel. See you inside.